Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for getting on the call. We are going to get started in just a moment. Um, so I hope everyone is having a great Friday. And we're going to get started right at the top of the hour. Thanks for joining us. Hey everyone, if you're just joining us, we are going to get started right at the top of the hour. We're thankful that you're able to um, be here with us today. Um, if you'd like, go ahead and drop a comment in the um, chat of where you're calling us from and um, just saying a good hello. I'm sorry, I'm so busy talking <laughs> and no words were being heard by you guys. <laughs> okay, so welcome to the Royalty Business Presentation. We are about to get started. Um, thank you for everyone for putting in the chat and the ones that have just joined us. Um, I'd just like to invite you to go ahead and put in the chat a little hello and where you're um, joining us from. Um, my name is Felice Ricks. I have been a royalty affiliate for two and a half years and um, so happy to be here. Um, and we are going to go ahead in just one more minute. Oh, it is right at one o'clock, so let's get started. Well, first, I'm going to say a quick hello to Lou from Houston and from Timothy from Pittsburgh and from Joseph in New York and Sandy in Del Rio and uh, Richard from. <laughs> Um, Richard, uh, from, he's here. <laughs> so anyways, okay, let's get started. My name is Felice Ricks, as I said. I'm so happy to be here with you today. Um, this is the Royalty Business Presentation. In case you accidentally stumbled into our Zoom meeting, you are welcome to stay. If it was an accident, we call it a happy accident. So go ahead and stay. Um, <laughs> but um, let me go ahead and introduce our host to you. Um, I have the pleasure of knowing um, Richard Laidler. He was born in the UK, so he has a funny accent. We're trying to convert him to Texan, but he's resistant. Um, but he was raised and educated in Cambridge. And um, in 1996, he immigrated to the US, um, lucky us. Um, and the reason why he did that is because he created a new digital printing technology. So I think that's incredibly smart. Um, and so with that company, um, he came here to the US. And then in 2004, he sold that business for multiple seven figures. And so that's quite impressive. And then so, um, so he was figuring out what to do next. Um, so he opened up three Dickey barbecue restaurants around the Dallas Fort Worth area. Um, and then he also sold those to now become focused on a more residual based 
business. Um, and so he's done that with a couple of com companies that he'll explain in just a few minutes. Um, um, one of them being an energy company and the other is this company royalty. And so if you will get a pen and paper out um, and silence your phones and just spend a little bit of time with us, he's going to tell you about this awesome platform that we, we have. So ladies and gentlemen, Richard Laidler. Felicia, you're awesome. Thank you very much. Can you hear me okay? Um, yes, I can hear you just fine, thanks. <laughs> I, was, I was particularly enjoying the pain you were going through as you were uh, discovered you were being muted. You were chatting, 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 and when I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm okay at lip reading, but not that good. <laughs> oh, well, see, I, that, you're welcome for allowing me to help you practice that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to thank you very much for the invite. I'm going to start sharing my screen. First of all, hi, guys. Uh, we have a representation across the country today. So uh, thank you very much for everybody for joining us. Uh, I'm going to share my screen. Felice, if you can let me know when you can see my screen, that would be great. Okay, awesome. All right. Well, I want to make sure that I uh, respect everybody's time. It's a Friday afternoon. It's Friday, by the way, guys, if you didn't know. I know everybody's kind of lost track of what's going on since we've had our, uh, our schedules taken away from us. But it's Friday. It's uh, just after one o'clock. Um, we're going to be talking about something right now, which is uh, very exciting. Um, we've got a lot of stuff going on outside that door. I don't validate it by calling it any particular name. I don't want to even validate what it is, but it's, it's out there. Um, and there are some company, there are some people out there that are really struggling, and I get that, and my heart goes out to those folks, and those folks who are struggling with their health right now, obviously my best wishes and prayers goes out to them. But there are some organizations that in a crisis like this um, do very well. Um, there, are certain organ there are certain companies, in fact, Mark Cuban was talking, I saw in an interview the other day that he was saying that there's going to be 15 to 25 new household names in 10 to 15 years or five to 10 to 15 years that we've never heard of right now that were born out of this crisis. You know, when you have something as major as this, whilst there's some people who are really struggling, and, and again, my heart goes out to that, it's, it's like there's a whole blank canvas of, of new opportunities out there. And there are some companies that do very well. Obviously, toilet paper companies right now are doing great. Um, you know, Netflix is doing great. Zoom is doing great. Delivery companies are doing great. There's co companies doing this pivoting. And um, what we're going to be talking about today, um, this also fits in that category. Um, we, we, what we're doing with this te technology is allowing businesses to be able to take advantage of this little window here to be able to communicate with all of the folks that are out there behind closed doors about whatever their product or service is. Before we, but so, so very, very exciting stuff we're going to be talking about today. But before we get started, uh, Felice gave a couple of, uh, she, she talked a little bit about my, my background. I have been a traditional business owner, had some success there financially, but certainly not personally. Um, it cost me two marriages um, running traditional businesses. I was always at work. I was never at home, never got an opportunity to be with my family. Um, and so uh, when I when I moved away from that and into residual businesses, that's why I did. So I could spend more time at home with my family, with my children. And I don't make quite as much money as I did back in those days, but all of my hours are mine. I'm at home when I need to be. I'm at home with my family when I need to be. So, and I have a couple of businesses that are like that. Both are residual. One is the energy, an energy business. I, hate, I help people save money on electricity. And right now it's a good business to be in. You know, no one's turning their lights off, right? So, and every time they pay their bill, I get a little residual income. I'm also, I got involved with royalty, what we're going to be talking about today, to help me build that business. And it was highly successful at doing that. So, and also I became, when I had so much success with it myself, I then, there was an opportunity for me to be able to refer it. So, I actually became an affiliate like Felice and like Felice and myself. And that's why I'm talking to you about it. I also have a music company. My son, my um, son and I have a music company together. That's more of a labor of love, but I'm very much a, you know, a residual style um, business owner now, a lot less hassle, um, you know, good, good income and solid income, whether I work or not. And I'm excited about that. Just a little bit of, a little bit on, on, uh, on distractions. Obviously, if you're watching this on your phone, don't turn your phones off. But maybe remove, you know, tie the kids up, stick them out in the yard, you know, do what you need to do with the kids. And just a little bit of um, a suggestion on etiquette. I'm sure some of you are seeing um, some interesting um, Zoom calls up on Facebook. 
where people forget they're on camera. You are on camera. We can see you. And it's lovely to see you from here up. And that's really, really lovely. I think sometimes people forget they're on camera and they maybe stand up and forgot to put their trousers on or something. So I just wanted to remind you of that um, uh, 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 just to, you know, as a courtesy. But uh, thank you. Um, it's lovely to see you. All right, so bottom line, we, we're, we're talking to, 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 to small businesses, 500 million of us out there. There's one-man bands, one-woman bands, small businesses, there's solopreneurs, network marketers, there's partnerships. There's 500 million of us out there, and we're all fighting for those customers. We're all looking for more customers to be able to build our business. You know, that's the one thing. That's what helps us pay our bills. Um, but there's a couple of issues with regard to that, right? As, as one man bands, right? As one man bands, one woman bands. One of those issues is kind of like a general issue that, that happens no matter what's going on outside the door. And the other one is very relevant to what's happening right now with that, that thing that shall remain unnamed. First of all, the general issue, right? You're a small business owner, you're a one man band, a one woman band, small business. The one thing is, uh, here's some bad news. The bad news is I don't care what your product is. I don't care what your service is. I don't care how lovely you are, right? The number of people who are actually looking for your product today, right this very second, you know, within the next week or so, that are looking to buy your product today is tiny. It's really, really small. You know, it, maybe it's, it's a percentage of 1%. But as one man bands, one woman bands, we go out there fishing in that little tiny pond of people who are looking to buy today because we've got a mortgage to pay. We've got uh, you know college funds to pay. We've got all of these bills that we need to pay. And what we're doing is kind of ignoring the big ocean of people who will be buying at some point in the, in the future. Because the good news is, even though they're not looking to buy today, maybe tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, they will be looking. They're probably going to be looking at, at, at your kind of product, your kind of service. We need to mature ourselves. And instead of thinking about just fishing in that little tiny pond, we, we cast a huge net over the whole of um, uh, the, that ocean out there of, of potential buyers um, so that we just make sure we're in front of them when they're ready to buy. Okay. And that's really, really important. That's what Apple does. It's what Sears does. It's what all those big companies do, right? And what we need to mature as a small business owner to be able to do, because this is what we do right now, or prior to what was going on, this is what we do. But, uh, you know, uh, hey, Felice, could you just check the, um, the mutings, please, if you wouldn't mind, please? Thank you. Um, we've got like... Um, Kind of like we go out, we, we get dressed up, you know, the girls get the hair done, dress up, us guys, we put our suits on, whatever, it you know, whatever we need to do. And we go out to these networking for, uh, events and this type of thing. And we hope we're going to go out there and, and get to meet people, right? But we really hope secretly that someone out there is looking to buy our product right now. I'm looking for health insurance right now. I'm looking to switch my electricity right now. I'm looking for a personal trainer right now. I'm looking to buy a house right now. The number of people is tiny, but that's what we do. That's what we've been doing. Okay. Now let's, let's, now let's tie this into what's going on right now, because what's going on right now has really just um, sped up what was already happening. That move from offline sales to online sales was already happening. 67% of people have made their decision on their phone before they go out to buy that product, to visit that restaurant, whatever it is. And 90% of people are just looking here. They're always looking here first, but 67 have already made their decision before they go out the door. Okay, so this, but this, is, but the point is, they're not going outside that door right now. We still, they st we still need more customers in this current situation. The challenge, though, is communication, right? I, I'm, I'm reaching you. We have a lot of people on this call right now because this is our only means of communication. I'm reaching you through the, the through this little window, and I can see you. You know, your little kind of inch by uh, three quarters of an inch squares, and I can see you there. But that's a challenge. The bad news is, is everybody's on lockdown at home right now. No one's going out. But again, and this is a very typical site, right? Nowadays, we're having these Zoom calls. Kids are running around in the background. Dogs are barking, this type of thing, which I kind of like, actually. I kind of like the reality of it. But the good news is that they're all online. Everybody's online. Everybody's on their social media. Everybody's looking at YouTube. Everybody's looking at these various things. And that is that window that we need to be able to access so that we can say, hey, we're in business. 
It could be, hey, we're still in business. We've pivoted, whatever it is, we have to be able to get out of that window. And the great thing is, we've all got one of these. We've all got a laptop. We're all on social media. Digital marketing has leveled the playing field so we can go out there and market like the big boys. Back when I was younger, in 70s, 80s, 90s, if you wanted to reach people, the masses, you had to advertise on TV. A massive investment. And it was only really for the big boys. Digital marketing puts me on your TV, right? I'm on TV, right? Right? Digital marketing has allowed us to market just like the big boys. Here's what's really, really interesting though. Even though we have that access, only 1% of small businesses are actually using digital marketing effectively right now or doing any at all in some cases. And what's happening is we are standing by that. Other than that 1%, we're standing by watching the big companies and the 1% monopolize where the eyes are, Right? They're monopolizing where the eyes are. And why aren't we doing it? Why are the other 99% of people not doing it? We've all got a phone. We've all got access to social media. We're not doing it. Why is that? It's because it's complicated. We've got Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Google ads, YouTube, blogging, vlogging, message bots, SMS marketing, click funnels, and literally Hootsuite, the, the list goes on. All great products in their own right. But the thing is that the, 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 every one of them needs to be learned, right? I'm a, one, I'm a one man band. I don't have time to sit down in front of YouTube for hours. They also have a cost to them. Then we need to make them all work together. And literally, other than the 1%, and we know who those 1% are, those kind of like those types who are really good at learning this stuff. They'll sit down for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours learning it. Uh, other than that, the 99% of us, we, got, we can't do it. We've got business to do. But the thing is, right now, we have to. We have to learn how to get into this window because this is not an option. We can't go out and talk to people right now. And again, even though the lockdown will, will lift, this move from offline to online, it was happening anyway. All that's happened is it's just been sped up. And if we don't adapt, if we're not online like the big boys, our business may fall behind. You recognize some of these names, I'm sure. Some are still in, still in business, but some are gone. Really, really high level established businesses and some have gone completely, right? And that, that the same thing will happen to us. As long as we sit back there in a digital economy, watching 1% you know, be on the phones, be on the screens where they should be, we are going to struggle or we're not going to make it. Fortunately, um, what I'm going to be talking about today, this is, a, a, this is why it's so important. This is why our business is really growing right now. It's because we are changing that. We have something called the Royalty Platform. It's the first all-in-one digital marketing platform. Uh, and when I say all-in-one, all of those things I just listed, right, they're, they're all together in one platform. Everything that's in there, and it's powered by artificial intelligence. It all works together. All is, is simple to use. And the artificial intelligence does a lot of the work for you. So you're not spending hours learning how to do it. It's literally digital marketing. It's going to help you get there, get, go out there and create a, an environment where you can attract more customers. You can stay in communication. But the most important thing is it's simple. You know, I've got gray in my beard because I'm 56 years old. I don't have this, you know, back my, my time was when I was helping my dad with his Betamax or his VHS, the timer on there, right? That was when we were young and we know how to do it, right? But now I'm older, I don't know how to do this. The great thing is this platform is everything you need to have. All of those things I listed to get you out on that window that we're looking at each other on right now. And the great thing is it's made for whether you're 25 or 75, you can do this. It's made for the other 99% of us. So we don't have to sit by and watch the big boys and the one percenters do it. So let's have a look at the royalty platform. Let's have a look and see, you know, how that does it for us. And there is a little bit of jargon in here only because that's the nomenclature that they use in that environment. But don't worry if you're not sure what some of this stuff means. Again, this is for the 99% of us who you know, can get into email, can open a Facebook, but not much more than that. Right? Now, it is also perfectly adequate for people who are pretty skilled in that area as well. The more skilled you are, the better you are at it. But the thing is, it doesn't shut the door on those people who can just about open their email and do Facebook. This is designed for those 99% of people. So let's break it down. If you want to do any kind of um, simple digital marketing, there's a few things you need to be doing, right? First of all, you've got to attract attention. Hi, I'm over here. I'm a restaurant. Hi, I'm over here. I'm a, a chiropractor. I'm a dentist. I'm a realtor. Whatever it happens to be, 
all right? And there you're going to attract your prospects with online advertising, uh, content marketing, content, not content. Excuse my spelling error. I, I fixed that yesterday. My apologies, but it didn't go through, obviously. Content marketing, uh, retargeting and SEO, search engine optimization. And again, there's a little bit of jargon in there, but don't worry, I will explain what that is. But once we've attracted those folks, then we need to be able to communicate with them. Okay, uh, so I've attracted, hey, I'm over here. And then once we've got them to us, we need to say, hi, this is what I do. This is, this is how I am. This is why you should do business with me. And you can and be talking to them on an ongoing basis, right? So that's database, website, email, blogging, content, marketing, spelt it right there, of course. And then you need to be able to measure what you're doing. Okay, you need to be able to say, okay, well, my online ad is good because it's attracting or it's not so because it's not attracting. We need to measure everything, okay? Here's the good news. Everything there is in the royalty platform. And it's put together that, actually you won't believe how easy it is. All right, the, the amount of learning is minimal because I'm gonna talk about this, much of it's done for you. And even, even if you're, you know, one person's a realtor, one person's a personal trainer, well, how can it do it for both? You watch and I'll, I'll show you. All you need to have is one of these, cell phone, or you can have a computer, um, and then you'll be able to market just like the big boys. Okay, so let's have a look at the first type of attracting people, right? Hi, I'm over here. Let's look at online ads, all right? We use something in the royalty platform called an ad pin. And you'll see why it's called that in just a second. But this is gonna allow you and I, the regular folks who've not done this before, or maybe dabbled in it and not had the success we needed, to go out there and do online advertising. This is gonna go out there and attract people not sell to people. That's back in the 80s and 90s where you put out an ad, someone would call you and say, hi, I want to buy your vacuum cleaner. Hi, I want to get my roof fixed. That type of buying, selling and buying doesn't exist anymore. Well, it does a little bit, but nowhere near what it used to be. Now advertising attracts people to you so you can be talking to them and creating a relationship. People are pretty savvy, right? If I go and buy a car now, I can go online and do all the research on the car and know as much about that car as that sales guy when I walk in the door. It's a very different um, sales process. Now, what I need, what, what that, what that uh, salesperson needs to be, that, that car salesman needs to be, is part of the online process that I had while I was work, you know, learning what car I wanted to have. Not the, not the, the, the sell to sell when I went in, when I walked in the, in the dealership. He needed to be part of that learning process. So the online ads go out and attract people to what we're doing not selling, attracting them to us, okay? Um, right now, <clears throat> if you wanna do any kind of advertising, you need to create an ad. There's over a million different apps and websites out there that you can advertise on. And right now, you need to go there, go to Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or whatever it is, go in there, learn their systems and create an ad um, per system, per, per app. One for Facebook, one for Instagram, one for YouTube, one for USA Today, one for Bloomberg, one for ESPN, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of time and effort and work. And that's part of the reason why people quit because it's just so much work. With the royalty platform, <clears throat> you create the ad one time in a little portal in the back office and the royalty algorithm will distribute that ad for you to the Facebooks, to the Instagram, to the YouTube, to the ESP, to over a million different apps. You create the ad one time and it can distribute it across those, those million um, different apps for you. Here's what I mean. If this is something that, uh, that makes sense to you, you get an app, right? I'm going to show you on the phone, but you could just as easily do this on a laptop. I tend to do it on a laptop because my eyesight's not what it was when I was, you know, uh, uh, younger than 35. All the 35-year-olds and younger do it all on this. I don't know how they do it, but I do it on a laptop. But you could do it on the phone. I'm going to show you how to do it on a phone real quick. In the phone is this little portal. It's called an ad editor, and I can create an ad. This ad is going to be for a realtor, right? Just because we know what a realtor does. Highland Park property, open house this weekend. It could just as easily be a personal trainer, um, a, a, a restaurant, wh whatever it happens to be, whatever business you're in. A headline, a description, beautiful house, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Halfway down, you see I've got the words website URL. That's where you're going to type in the address people to go to if they see your ad and go, nice ad, click. Where it's going to take them, that's what you put in there. Right down the bottom, you put in two photographs. It's actually the same photograph twice. One you're going to put in square, the other one you're going to put in rectangular. Now, why would you do that? Same photograph, why would you do that? It's because this portal, the algorithm distributes to all of these million different um, uh, apps out there. Some want a square picture, 
someone rectangular. Instagram square, Facebook rectangular. It picks the right photograph accordingly. And then check this out. So I've made my ad, put my photographs in. Now check this out. Two thirds of the way down, there's a location button there. I click on that. It now opens up a GPS map of the whole of the world. And on that map, I can drop a pin anywhere in the world. I could drop it over my house where I am right now, over my restaurants that I used to own, over the next town, over the next county, the next state, the next country. I could literally drop an ad right over my mom's house in the south of the UK, over in Asia, whatever I wanted to do, drop a pin. Once I've done that, I can then change the size of the circle around that pin as small as half a mile, as big as 500 miles. I really like the small one, which sounds counterintuitive. I'll explain why in a second. And I do that by with the slider there. So, so far I've typed in the ad like this or like this or on my laptop like this, right? Easy. No programming skills or anything like that. I've dropped my pin like that and I've changed the size of the circle like that. Remember I told, and I, that sounds like I'm oversimplifying things, but I'm saying that because I want, this has been put together for the 99% of us who don't know how to do this. But once I've done that, I click broadcast and now that ad can appear in all in over the, the in, in any ones of those million different apps and websites out there on the social media, the general apps, on the iPhones, Androids, tablets, desktops, and laptops of the people within the area that I specified. I created the ad one time, the royalty ads looked at it, distributed it accordingly um, uh, to the social media and general apps out there. And people are looking at it on the devices that they happen to be on in the area of that pin drop and the circle you did. Amazing. I could be driving along in the car, have an idea for a, an ad or a campaign, pull over, create my ad. Let's say the Cowboys just won. I know it's rare, but let's say the Cowboys just won. I'm in Dallas, forgive me. All right. And I wanted to tie that to my electricity business. You know, I just wanted to, because people see the Dallas Cowboys when they're going to click on it, right? That's my job is to attract them. I can literally pull over to the side of the road, put it together, hit broadcast, bang, out it goes. Simple. Here's an example. Here's a girl who's getting married in September and she's looking to buy a house. Now, remember I said at the beginning, the number of people who are looking to buy your product right now, really small. This girl is very typical and it's very typical for a real estate person. I'm not looking to buy necessarily right now, but I'm looking right now. Okay. She happens to be on Facebook here. This is what it would look like on Facebook. If you want to know what it would look like on the other apps, just go to those other apps, open them up, look at the ads that are on there. That's what yours will look like, except with your artwork. Okay. Really, really simple. There's nothing different about this. It's not a new form of online advertising. It's exactly the same. It's just the delivery mechanism is put together in such a simple way that you and I can now do it. You know, you don't have to have an empty canvas and be this incredible artist to paint. Now, this is painting by numbers. It's actually doing it for you, okay? Well, now, I get off to ask this question all the time at this point. Why would these different apps allow our ads to appear on their apps, on their platforms? Right? Why would they? Are we hijacking? Are we, in some kind of way, hacking the system? Absolutely not. Royalty purchases or buys over 100 million different ads every month and resells them to us in little tiny packages that we can use with our ad pins. All right, really, really simple. So the, re so the point is, nothing's different. The reason why they allow our ads to appear on their platforms is because they're getting paid. It's just a slightly different mechanism where the delivery of those ads is so simple that you and I can do it. So back to our girl here, who's super excited about getting married. In September, she clicks on the ad. And remember that URL we put over there in the halfway down on the ad editor on the left there? It now takes her to wherever that ad was. In this case, the realtor, his name is David Paul. And it could, get, it could take her to a, the YouTube channel or his Facebook page or his LinkedIn or his Instagram. Or it could take him to his Keller Williams site or his, um, uh, his Century 21 site, his Ebby Halliday site. You know, wherever you put the URL in there, absolutely you can send them there. But here's the thing. Remember I told you that in order to be able to do digital marketing, you need to have everything yourself all under one platform. And that's the case with the royalty platform. In the royalty platform, you also have the ability to create your own website. Better than that, you have your ability to create your own websites. Unlimited. You can create as many websites as you want. There's no additional hosting. There's no additional cost. That alone, when you see the price um, to, of entry to do this, under 100 bucks, that alone is worth, the, is, is worth the price at the door. 
unlimited. I have 46 websites for my electricity company. Why would I need 46? Well, because different age groups buy electricity in different ways. I can do a website for a 25 to 35 year old and a website for a 65 to a 75 year old. I can have a website in Spanish. I can have a website in Korean. I can have a website that is African American because the that particular apartment complex happens to be a, a, a more African American. I can have ones more Asian, more Hispanic, more Caucasian. I can r totally target. Well, that's why I like that really small circle. By the way, I can advertise right in a specific area with a specific demographic, and I can do it as many times as I want. So what does a website need to do? It needs to obviously inform them about the product, okay? In this, in this case, David Paul is informing them about the house. It also needs to connect with them, okay? I'm hopefully connecting with you, but it's not as easy as if I was in front of you, right? Hopefully, you know, I'm, I'm interesting enough, engaging enough that you want to stick around, right? I've got to have some kind of connection. This website needs to do that. That face-to-face -face has gone away. But, and word of mouth is replaced by word of post. We have to be able to do it on here. The website needs to do that and hopefully collect the information of the person who's interested in my product. So this could be a typical website, okay? Um, it's really, really simple to do. You don't need any HTML experience, no WordPress experience. It's literally drag and drop. And I'll show you how simple it is in just a second. But this, so this website needs to do three things. Inform. Our girl, Maridel, that's the girl who's looking to buy the house, who's getting married in September, about this house. Pictures, text, whatever it happens to be to do that. But now we also need to connect. So I would definitely put a video on there. This little guy here, this phone that we have, is a 4K camera. It's a full film crew. People are used to filming like this. Literally, David Paul could walk around this house, 1100 Hunter's Way, Welcome, this is the front entrance. Here's the double staircase. Here's the kitchen. Here's the three inch granite. Check out the, the, the pantry, unreal organization here. The, 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 the master bedroom is amazing, but you have to check the backyard. The backyard is the most beautiful I've ever seen. It has this incredible pool in it, surrounded by all this landscaping over in the corner. There's this grotto area. You can put candles in there. Really lots of fun for your family very romantic for you and your wife, you have to check it out. In fact, if you want to arrange a tour, just fill out the information below and we'll arrange for a time to you either for you to come and look around the house when the lockdown's done or to have a look at the virtual tour. Um, you know, however you want to do it, just fill out the information below. Okay, pretty innocuous, pretty normal, right? That's what you would expect. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not underestimate what you did. You attracted a girl who you didn't know. She was out there. She happened to see your ad, okay? You pulled her into this incredibly beautiful website that's talking about this house and a video of you explaining what it is with a partial tour and a little bit of a tease about looking around the rest of the house. So she was incentivized to put her information in there to get a tour. You, and that is it. Do not underestimate what you did. You have now captured her information. You have her information. Compare that to a billboard on the side of the road you're driving by, which someone spent $10,000 on, right? You know, driving by and, and, and you, yeah, I would like a, new, a nice new smile. Yes, I would like a, a diamond for my, my wife. Yeah, the air conditioning. My wife is hot. I need to get some air conditioning. Whatever it is, right? They spend $10,000 on that. They have no idea who's driving by. They're hoping that you've been engaged enough that you'll call them. What we're doing is attracting their information so we can actually stay in touch with them. That is the absolute epicenter of marketing and that's what we're doing here. This is the toolkit for how to build your website. Just upload the picture of the house, put it underneath that square over on the left that says large image. You pick it up with your mouse, drag it across, drop it, that's where it is. No HTML. The video you created, you just get a little link for that, put that underneath the video, all right? Click on that video square, the square on the left over there, all the squares. Pick the video up, drag it across. That's where your video is. It's made, remember I told you it's made for us guys with the gray in our hair, the, the gray in the, I'm going to hair on my head, so I have to always point at my beard. But um, it's made for us for 20, whether you're 25 or 75, we can do this really simple. Uh, also, okay, so, so we've attracted the attention of the individual, right? We've pulled her into the website. We've informed her. We've uh, connected with her. You know, we've created this relationship of some kind. She's now given us our information. I've got to keep that information somewhere. So I obviously need to have a database. Okay, well, big deal. We all know what a database is. What's so special about that? Well, three things are special about that. Number one, it's incredibly simple to use. And it's already integrated into the platform. When she saw the ad, filled out her information, bang, straight into the database. It was already working together. It's also 
a full CRM. It's like Salesforce. It's going to keep track of all of your communication with Maridel, right? Or uh, to remind you when to call her, keep track of everything you've done, of all the documents you've done, of what you've got to do, remind you to do all these things. A really awesome CRM. But the third thing, which is really important, is that this, de this uh, database will trigger just one of the ways that you can now stay in touch with her. Remember, she's not buying till September. Back in the day, we would exchange a business card and hopefully we'd stay in touch with this because we have her information. I can stay in touch with her every day, every three days, every week, every month, how often as I want that's appropriate that she's not going to unsubscribe. But she's looking to buy a house. So she's going to be pretty interested in what I've got to tell her as a real estate person. But this is where I can help and advise her between now and the time where she's ready to buy so I can build a relationship. And these email campaigns, by the way, are as beautiful as the websites. So and again, just drag and drop. There's a whole bunch of stock photography in the platform. Thousands and thousands of images across, I think, 210 different industries that you can drag and drop, or you can upload your own information. It's already there, your own images. Or it can be as simple as a two-line um, two email. Whatever is appropriate. But the point is, this is where David Paul can advise her, give her all of this help and advice and asking for nothing you in return so he can build that relationship, win her trust so that you can then do your job. And let's establish what your job is. Your job is to make the sale. It's not the royalty platform's job to make the sale. It's the royalty platform's job just to make sure that the customer is in front of you when they are ready to buy, okay? You still have to have a good product. You still have to be sophisticated. It still has to be the right price, all of that type of thing. This, the job of this platform is to make sure that, you, that as many people as possible are in front of you when they're ready to buy. Remember, there's a whole ocean of people looking to buy at some point in the future. This could be the first email that, that goes out. Remember, this is all automated, okay? She saw the ad, went to the website, filled out her information, went into the database, bang, out went this first email, okay? Thank you for getting in touch to arrange a tour of 1100 Hunter's Way. Click on the link below and get access to my Calendly or, or give me a call on 214-555-1234, whatever it happens to be what she's expecting, right? But it went out automatically. There's two things that are important about this. All of the, the ad, the, the website, the database, all of that was done automatically. David Paul, the realtor, had set it all up. It's being done in the background while he's talking to clients. Here's the second reason why this, this, the, this is so important, is do you think with a house as beautiful as this, that only Maridel is gonna look around it? Now he is only gonna sell it to one person, but you know 50 people are gonna wanna tour around this house at least. That's 50, feet, 50 people who filled out that informa information. That's 50 people. You now have their contact information and you know they're interested in buying a house. It may not be today, might be next week, might be next month, might be two years from now, but you've got their information. You can always be in front of them, advising and helping and sending them information on houses. You now are building this list of people who are looking for your product. That is what this product is all about attracting people's information so you can build a list of people who are looking at your product so you're in front of them when they're ready to buy. You're not fishing in a little pond now of those people who are looking to buy today. Now you're building a list of people who are looking to buy at some point. That's what the big companies do and what we as small man, small one man bands, one, one woman bands have not been doing. That's why we live month to month, you know, maybe quarter to quarter because we never know who's buying from us in the future. We can mature now and behave like the big boys. Another email, maybe something about David Paul, why she should use him, but a little bit about his life, his experience, his, his you know, testimonials or whatever. Maybe, obviously he's got 50 people who are sending out information. He's only going to sell that house to one person. He should have an email about all the other houses he's got for sale, similar price, similar number of bedrooms, similar area, whatever it is. A fourth email, maybe advice on which loan officer, which title company, which moving company, all of this help and advice he's giving to Maridel and asking for nothing in return. So that relationship is doing nothing but getting better and better. Okay, so we've looked at one of the ways to attract attention. We've looked at how we're going to communicate through the, the, the websites, through the database, through the email campaigns. Now let's have a look at another way to attract attention, right? We've attracted so far people who are who we don't know. What about all of the people hmm, who we do know? They buy our product as well, all right? But here's the thing that's kind of uh, strange is, so, so, the, so we've got content marketing. Content marketing is how we talk to people who already know us, right? They're on our Facebook, they're on our LinkedIn, they're on our Twitter, whatever it, whatever it is. Hopefully they know, like, and trust us. Maybe even they know, love, and trust us. 
right? But these people actually want to give us their business. But let me tell you what's, what, why this doesn't happen so much. It's because what we do as the company who wants to sell it is we try to sell to our friends and family, right? Remember, we're looking for people who are looking to buy today. We've got bills to pay, so we try to sell to, this is a typical um, knee jerk for network marketers and insurance people, right? We've all been approached by the latest vitamins or the latest um, uh, water filters or health insurance, right? It's awkward, it's weird, and it's just inappropriate between you and your friends, and they start not inviting you to dinner parties, right? But the irony is they actually want to give you the business. It just has to be on their terms. That's what we're doing here. You can now, using the royalty platform, you can do your content marketing, i.e. posting on your Facebook or your LinkedIn or your Twitter. You're posting all the time on there, right? About what you had for breakfast, where you went on vacation, maybe a meme about a pretty cat, whatever it is. But in business, if you're a small business owner, you should be talking about your business every now and again. Maybe every 10th post or every 15th post, post something about your business. So post something about your industry, something that's interesting. So people are reminded, ah, Richard's in the energy business. I'm moving, let me give him a call. I lost so many people who could have been my customers, my friends and family, because they'd just forgotten that I was in electricity. The other alternative was I just keep asking my friends, hey, you ready to switch electricity? You ready to switch electricity? It's just awkward. I don't want to be that guy. But because we're doing this, we're now posting every 10th or 15th post, excuse me, through the royalty platform. When we post through the royalty platform, that regular post that we do now turns into a fully functional, clickable ad. So now, so when they click on it, it doesn't just make the picture bigger. It takes them into the funnel you've created or the, or the website you've created to tell them about why they should have life insurance. So that at some point in the future, when they've, in three months from now, when their wife is expecting, they're thinking, I need to get some, some, some life insurance. They think about you because they saw your article three, three months ago. All right. And again, you should be doing this on a regular basis. So now what you can do is you can keep your friends informed appropriately about your great product or service so that when they are ready for your service, they will come to you so you don't have to sell to them because you're desperate to sell to them. It's a nuance, but it's everything to do with selling to your friends and family. Remember, they already know, love, and trust you. They want to give you the business, but on their terms, and that's what the royalty platform does. It reverses that conversation so you have people coming to you rather than you having to go and try to sell to them. I kind of labored that point because it's really important. But to summarize, so what we've done is we've attracted people we don't know, and we've attracted people we do know. And we now have, div have been targeting them and sending them through to our landing page. All right. So this girl over here on the left, at some point, she's going to be in the market for whatever your product is. We've attracted her attention, put into her landing page. And because we were, we were interesting enough, she gave us her information. All right. That is a trick. You have to have something like a tour around the house. She's going to give you her real information. And what's happening is now because I am for her information, I'm in front of her every day, if I want to be every week, every month, what, however long it takes so that when she's in the market for my product, I'm in front of her and I have a chance. There's no guarantee I have a chance of winning her business. And in fact, that is, let's establish what, um, uh, what this royalty platform is. What makes the royalty platform successful? Is it the number of sales you get? Well, of course, we all want sales. No, the real, that's your job. Remember, the sales is your job. The real success of the royalty platform is the size of that list you're growing. Remember, Maridel filled out the information, but 50 others did as well. Imagine if you've got five, six, seven, eight houses out there of 20, 30 people wanting to have a tour around it, sending their email address. You're going to be building a database of 100, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 people over a period of months who are looking to buy a house. The bigger your list, the more money you'll make. They can take away your job. They can take away your company. They can put you behind the front door where you can't get out. If you've got a list of people who are interested in your product or your industry, you are back in business tomorrow. This is crucial. As not, that, and I'm telling you, people have not been doing this for you. I've, got, I've had thousands of business cards in my drawer down there sat out, that I built up over the years. What I've done now, because I have the royalty platform, is I took them all out of the drawer, loaded them up into my database, and guess what? I started talking to them. I started dropping him an email, inviting them to join my Facebook page. Hey, I haven't been in touch for a little while. Love to get back in touch. Join my Facebook page. Thousands of people 
who I've, who I've just have been in my drawer and now having a conversation with me. And you know what? Every now and again, they buy electricity, right? You see what I'm talking about here? That's what this is all about. Also, what you need to be able to do is to measure your results. We just use Google Analytics. They do a fantastic job. It's been brought into this platform. You can measure the number of people who are looking at your ad right, who's scrolling through and see your ad and look at it. You can measure the number of people who look at it and click on it. Hopefully, the number of people who click on it is high. If it's not, it's, the, the, the analytics will tell you it's not and they'll say, okay, you need to change your ad. Because you're measuring, you can fine tune. You can see the age of the person who's looking at your ad. Great for insurance people. The gender of the person you're looking at. Um, the device that they're on, the location they're in. You can even, let's say, picture me as a beautiful Mary Kay girl, which I know is a stretch, but let's work on it, right? Let's say I've got a whole line of, of, of a teenage makeup, right? I can specify 18 to 24-year-olds on that top line, females on the second line, who are interested in this, 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 and this. And when you put in the keywords, that is improving something called your SEO, which is a search engine optimization. So you're more, what that means is you're more likely to be found because you're able to put your keywords in there. I would put keywords in there about my product. I'd also put the competition's keywords in there. So that if they're searching the competition, I come up as well. You're improving your search engine optimization, okay? Basically, you're sitting there driving along in your car with your phone in your pocket. You literally have a digital marketing ad agency right here. Right here, you can do everything that you would have to spend thousands to have someone else do for you where you have no control over it. If that wasn't good enough, back in November, they introduced artificial intelligence. And, they, and this is worldwide, by the way. This platform is worldwide, so the artificial intelligence is in multiple languages. And what the artificial intelligence does is when you get signed up for this, if this is something that makes sense to you, uh, this is not a pitch. This is not a sell. If this makes sense to you and you get signed up, this is how it works. The art, you'll, you'll fill in your information about who you are, where you are, but also you'll answer some questions about your industry, about your business. So that then the artificial intelligence can go out and go to work for you. This guy here is going to go out to the internet and find everything, the pictures, um, content marketing, all of the stuff that is relevant to your business that is already successful, that people are already clicking on, all right? Pull them into your campaign, right? Into your platform, your websites, your, your, um, your uh, email campaigns, your ads, and it's going to auto build it for you based upon what's already successful, takes all the guesswork out of it. How amazing is that? So, so let me give you an exact example of what a typical day is for me, right? I get up in the morning, right? And uh, this is my, my friend Joanna here, who's a real estate person, right? We get up in the morning, we make our coffee, right? I've got my coffee here. And this is the AI going to work for me, right? And I open up my email. And my email says, your social marketing posts are ready. It looked at my industry, which is electricity for me, real, real estate for Joanna here. And it says, you're so, it's found articles and stuff that are interesting, that are relevant to my business and said, your social marketing posts are ready. Okay. So, and it shows me what the post is for Joanna here. It's top 10 reasons why it's the perfect time to buy your uh, dream home. Okay, that has saved you hours and hours and hours of work trying to research for articles and stuff to keep people, your friends and family, you're looking at your social, social uh, media to keep them interested. It goes out and finds it for you and it says, um, where would you like to post this? I want to post it on Facebook. I could do one or all, all three of these. And, it's, and, and so you hit post, there it is on your post like that, bang. You don't have to go out there and do it. It does it for you automatically. It says, is it there? It checks. You say, yes, it is. It then says, would, so your social marketing is done, right? Every morning this happens. I'm busy. I'm a one-man band. I'm busy. I don't have time to do my marketing, but all I need to do is make my coffee, go to my email. It says, there's my social marketing. It finds it for me. It says, do you like it? Yes, I do. Posted it, done. It also then says, would I like to add this as a, web, to, as a blog to my website? Now, blogging takes time to write. It does it all for you. And if you're blogging, your search engine optimization is increased. People are more likely to find you. Google like people who blog, all right? So it says, would you like to add it to your blog? Yes, I would. Click, blog, done. Add it to your landing page, done. It then says, would you like to email this content to your followers? The list of people who are interested in your product. Yes, I would, done. So that's my morning, right, for marketing. And I'm marketing every day now. I wake up, I make my coffee, open my email, 
I do my social, my social marketing post, done. I do my blog, done. And I do my email campaign, done. Three clicks. It's called three-click marketing, okay? Three-click marketing is all my marketing is done literally in, in five minutes in the morning. So now I can get on with my busy day. That's what the AI is doing. Also, there is retargeting. And if you want to know what retargeting is, it's because you, you went online and you did a search on, <clears throat> I don't know, um, some gardening equipment. Now it seems like everybody, everybody uh, is marketing. Everywhere you look, there's, there's gardening equipment, right? It's not Big Brother, you know, your, your washing machine listening to you and stuff. No, no, it's something called retargeting. We have that. If somebody visits your landing page, they will get 10 more ads from you after they've visited your landing page. You know, most people don't buy on the first look or the second look or the third look. They're more likely to be buying on their sixth, seventh or eighth or ninth or tenth look. The retargeting is doing that all for you. It's doing your follow-up for you. How good do you look? Because someone visited your website for whatever it is, vacuum cleaners, and then they get 10 ads from you about vacuum cleaners. It does it for you. It's all included in the platform. Here's a couple of um, applications, and this is for realtors, but I want to give you kind of a, 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 a concept of how this works. Obviously, as a realtor, I want to attract people who I don't know and people who I do know. So I'm going to be doing my social marketing posts to my friends and family. So I appropriately, uh, they're, getting, they're being made aware of a house I've got for sale. They buy houses and they know people who are buying, for house, buying houses. But I'm also putting an ad out there, maybe right over the top of the house or maybe over another wealthy area or over that whole town or, or wherever I want to do it. I'm now attracting people who I don't know. Real simple to do. Um, also, this is a very specific application because I want to show you that's a general application. This is specific. There are hundreds of companies moving from California to Texas. They're actually moving all over the, the, the country, but specifically tech, uh, uh, California to Texas because it's expensive in California, expensive here. One of those companies is, is McKesson Corp employee, uh, McKesson Corp. They're a big um, pharmaceutical company um, and, and they're moving from San Francisco to Dallas. I would love to be the realtor who knows who they are, right? Pretty obvious. There's thousands of people moving here. Just give me 20 of them, right? I can create this ad in that little portal I showed you at the beginning. Type it in, McKesson Corp employees, are you relocating to Dallas? Open the map, scroll across to San Francisco, pull a, drop a pin right over the top of the McKesson Corp campus, pull that circle into half a mile, and now my ad is being distributed right over the top of the McKesson Corp um, uh, campus. The people who are seeing it are McKesson Corp employees. And the ad says, McKesson Corp employees, are you relocating to Dallas? Uh, yes, I am. And how the hell did you know? Talk about a targeted ad. So who else could use that? Well, obviously, people who are moving from San Francisco to Dallas need a mortgage company. They can use this. If you know a mortgage company, they absolutely should be using this. Title companies, they're going to need one of those. They need a moving company. They need a landscaping company. They need a cleaning company. Who would have thought that a Dallas dentist would advertise in San Francisco. Catch them before they come here. You know they're moving here. You could be ahead of all of, the other all of the other dentists in town. You can be ahead of all the other vets in town. You can be ahead of all the other schools in town. All right, so that's, some that's a realtor application. But obviously, any company that needs to create more exposure or need more customers can use this. However, specifically, you no know, roofers could be storm chasing. If there's a storm in Lufkin, Texas, start marketing in Texas or in Lufkin right there. Create the ad right away. Drop the pin right over where the storm is. My son's in a band in Nashville. He's not gigging right now, but when he was, he was dropping pins over his where he was playing next. He was also offering free uh, music that he plays um, on his website but he needed to know where to send it. So they sent him his email, their email address. So my son, bless his cotton socks, 24 year old bearded drummer, great drummer, but not a businessman, is building a list of people who love his music. So now the lockdown's happening. He can now still be talking and sending songs and sending home gigs that they're doing out to people who are his fans. So when the lockdown comes back up, who are they gonna go and see? Right? I mean, my son, 24, he's not in market. He didn't go to college to do this. My restaurant's down here in Dallas. I would have used it for events and menus, especially for hiring. I was paying a, a temporary staffing agency a fortune to because I constantly had to turn over stuff. I can drop a pin right over SMU University. They need beer money, right? Churches, charities, schools, insurance agents, anybody who needs more attention, 
Um, you can use it as a PR tool. Uh, you can use it for customers. Uh, this is the perfect application. Okay, so let's talk about pricing. Uh, to get started, it starts at um, under 100 bucks a month. I told you this, $87 a month. In my restaurants, by the way, um, we would spend between two and $4,000 a month per restaurant. And I had three of them. So you can imagine how big my marketing was. The large package here, 327, would have done all my marketing for me. So if you know small businesses or you are a small business, you can see that to be able to get all of your marketing done for this small budget, is um, is incredible. The $87 package gets you, well, first of all, remember I told you, unlimited websites is worth the door price, right? Um, to be able to have, I mean, you can have unlimited websites, no additional costs, no additional hosting. Of those websites, you can make three of them part of um, AI campaigns, where the AI is doing all of that work for you, going out, finding all the information, auto-building your website for you, giving you suggestions for ads and content, um, giving you suggestions for your blogs and for your emails, all, all done for you. That You get three of those, three campaigns, which is more than enough for most. 10,000 marketing emails, um, unlimited social media marketing. That's that marketing to your friends and family, right? You can do that as much as you like, right? You could do it 50,000 times a month. You'd be going some if you did. And you don't want to bombard people, um, but you've got unlimited there. You've got that search engine optimization, you know, the keywords and the blogging, increasing your search engine optimization, file sharing analytics, but also 250 visitors to your landing page. That Of those 250, they're all going to get 10 ads follow up after that uh, initial visit to your landing page, 250 of them. Okay, uh, the other packages are just more of the same. Five AI campaigns for the 167 and 50,000 marketing emails. The rest is the same. The 327 package gets you 10 AI campaigns and 100, uh, sorry, 100,000 marketing emails. I have the 327 package um, just because in, uh, um, it's, uh, it's conducive to what I want and I get enough return to easily pay for that. I'm gonna show you how to get it for free in a second, by the way, um, but, uh, no matter what, that is extremely competitive. The other great thing is there's no contract. Royalty doesn't need to tie you down to something. They know you're going to like it and want to stay. I really like that. So, but then as far as the online ads are concerned, all right, so that's, that's going to get you all of the platform, all right, and in there, we, but we need to get some online advertising in there as well. Obviously, there are costs to those online ads. Remember, royalty are buying them in bulk and selling to them at a, at a very inexpensive price. You can get your ads... Uh, 10,000 ads for 50 bucks down the bottom there. The pricing is along the bottom. So let's say I got the $87 package and I got uh, the $50 package along with that. Now, again, remember we can get this for free as well, but this is just kind of, you know, kind of explaining how it is. With that $10,000 package, I can get two pins with it if I want, 5,000 ads for one pin and 5,000 ads for another pin, all right? Here's the reason why I would have two pins is because that was my advertising on the left when I first started with this platform for my electricity. I'm not a marketing guy, but I thought that was a good ad, a good picture, save hundreds of dollars on your electricity bills this summer. It actually was a really bad ad. I got really very, very few um, clicks. People would look at it, but no one would really click on it. So my, e my ego said, well, that's a good ad. Obviously, advertising doesn't work. You know, of course, that's ridiculous. Of course, advertising works. It's worked for thousands of years. The problem is, is my ad was no good. I had to put my ego aside. And then what I did was I created another ad. And I placed them one on one pin, one on the other pin. And I put them right over the top of Lexington Apartments. The ad on the right, the one with me standing outside their apartment complex, got 10 times more clicks than the one on the left. So I knew within two days that ad on the left was no good and the one on the right was great. It was because they saw their apartment complex. Remember, all I'm doing is attracting them. But that's what the analytics can do. That's what the measuring can do. That's why you should look for a package, something like that. I actually have the 327 package and I have six pins. Um, and right now, as I'm talking to you, those six pins are sitting over six different apart apartment complexes. And, they, and it's always me because I found a formula, me standing outside the apartment complex. People click on it. They come to my landing page. Um, <clears throat> I offer them a free ebook uh, on how to save some money on the electricity bill. Obviously, I need my, their email address in order to be able to send that to them. I'm collecting all of the email addresses of those people in those apartment complexes. Every now and again, I'll stumble across a sale. But where my sales come from, 
are all those emails. I'm inviting to my Facebook page. I'm, I'm offering competitions. Most of my sales are coming from people who saw me six months ago, seven months ago, because I'm always advertising the same place. They're always getting content marketing from me on my Facebook, on my LinkedIn, or on my Twitter. They're constantly seeing me, this, this, this bald Englishman, constantly stand like a stalker standing outside their apartment complex. I'm winning their business. That's where most of my business comes from. Hopefully that makes sense. But that's it. That's the royalty platform. It's, um, it's everything you need to, need to do your digital marketing. And it's made for the other 99% of us. It has all of the ability to attract people, people we don't know, people we do know, as well as increase our uh, search engine optimization. When we've got them, we've got all of these um, abilities to communicate with them, websites, email campaigns, blogging, um, newsletters. Um, and then we've got the ability to measure them with the analytics. And it's all in one package and it all works with each other. And it's so simple to use that you and I can use it so we don't have to do this anymore. We've got our bills to pay. I've got to make sales. Can you imagine if, if, um, if, if Apple did this or if any of those other big companies at the beginning of the month saw, saw how many bills they've got to pay and said, okay, we've got to go make some sales. Of course not. They've been marketing much more like a farm. They build this farm and they're constantly planting. And this farm will pay, will feed you every week, every month. It removes all the stress from your business. Now you're being a grown-up business. You're no longer a, a one-man band, one-woman band that's desperate for sales. Now you're actually standing tall. Even though you're a small business, you're behaving like a big business. And hey, guess what? You might even be able to grow. You might even be able to scale. How awesome would that be? There's always going to be some hustle. Some hustle. There's always going to be. Even the Apple people still hustle in the store, right? But at least those people are in the store Right? Those stores are always full because Apple's marketing is so good. So that's it. That's it. I'm going to show you how to get it for free in just a second. Um, but if you need to get going, I understand. The ro that's the royalty platform. It's the first all-in-one digital marketing platform. It's powered by artificial intelligence, so it does it for you. It's made for the other 99% of you. If this is something that makes sense to you, get with the person who invited you. Okay, You're obviously invited to this. Maybe you saw a, a post somewhere or whatever. Get back to that person, they'll be able to answer any questions for you, they'll be able to get you started, and they'll be able to tell you about the referral program, um, where you can get your platform for free. I'm gonna show you that anyway in just a second if you wanna stick around, but um, whoever referred you to this can do the same thing. Um, for those of you who need to go, thank you very much. I really appreciate your time. However, for those of you who wanna find out how to get it for free, stay with me literally just for a couple of minutes. There's a way to get your platform for free and it's really simple. Royalty just want to find the easiest way to grow their business and they want you to refer this. If they think, if you think, <clears throat> if you like the idea of this royalty platform, if you think that the 99% of people who haven't got their businesses on the screen where everybody's looking right now, if you think they could benefit from this, then all you need to do is refer them to this call. You don't have to be able to sell it to them or to be able to do a presentation. Just refer them to this call like you were and I will do this job for you and refer them back to you. But just refer three people and you can have your $87 platform paid for. Lisa here, let's say she referred her, her realtor friend, her chiropractor friend and her dentist because they need, to, they need more business. They need to be marketing this to this little screen that we've got here. But because she's referred it, to three people, she's not paying for her platform anymore. She is now in business and her marketing is free. That is unreal. Now, what I would do is I would add a couple more just in case one of your three doesn't pay one month or their card doesn't go through or they're on vacation or whatever. I would add a couple more, um, you know, maybe a restaurant owner, a musician, whatever it happens to be. So get your five for free. Okay. And so, uh, and that's basically what most people, most people who watch this, this presentation are customers. They're just going to use the platform to market their business so that they can now talk to people through um, this, uh, this little window that I'm talking to you right now. Um, but even if you're just a customer, go refer it to a few folks and get it for free. That makes sense. Hey, Felice, could you watch, check the muting, please? Um, <clears throat> so that's it. Now, I say 90% because there's 10% of us who are actually interested in where this, this, this platform is going. If there's 99% of 500 million small businesses who need to be digital marketing and they're not, and I have the solution to that, I want to, I want to hook my wagon to that train. And, and so that was why it was interesting to me. And there's some other people on this call who are the same 10% of us 
Now, again, this is not a try. I'm not trying to upsell you here. This is not an upsell. This is for those who want a plan B, either because, you know, you just want a plan B or because your plan A is a little uh, right now. Um, there's 10% of us who want to attach themselves to the growth of this platform, which is growing like crazy. Um, you can take advantage of Royalty's affiliate program because you can keep referring. You can refer it to three and get it for free, get two more and get your insurance so you've got it. But if you want to refer six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 20, 50, 100, you can continue to do so and royalty will pay you for that. Become a royalty affiliate, doesn't cost any more, okay? You've already become a customer, now you can become an affiliate. Now there is a $4.95 monthly charge to open up another part of the back office. Okay, which opens up where you can keep a track of your sales and this type of thing. Um, but that's like a coffee a month. You're not going out for Starbucks right now. Have one less coffee and use that to pay for this back office. But that's it. If you're a customer, you can be an affiliate already. Royalty will pay you an affiliate commission based on the monthly income you generate for them. All right. That's by referring. I referred Felice back in the day, um, and uh, which, was, which was great. I'm glad I did. <laughs> um, and because I did, every time she pays her subscription, she actually gets it for free. But even, even though she gets it for free, I still get paid a little bit because she is my uh, uh, underneath me as an affiliate, right? But also, when Felice refers it to someone else, like maybe uh, Rory or to, to, uh, to John on this call, um, I get paid on that as well. You get paid on two levels. Here's what I mean. So here's Lisa, right? Our girl, she wanted to get it for free, so she got five people. Three initially, two more just to get the insurance. She got her five people. Because Lisa's under me, I got paid for that. But not only that, because Lisa, Lisa's referrals want to refer it to some other folks as well, when um, her five refer it, Lisa gets paid on those people as well. She gets paid on her, the ones she refers, but she also gets, because right, they want it for free, right? Why wouldn't those five want it for free as well? They know other businesses who can use this. Lisa gets paid on both of those levels. This is how the money works. And I am going through this a little faster. And if you have questions on this, again, get back to the person who invited you to this. We'll be able to help you on that. But bottom line, um, if you refer three people, um, you, you basically get it for free. It's really simple. But if those three people want to get it for free as well, so you've got your three people. If each of those want to get their, their marketing for free by referring it to three people, so you've got three on your first level, nine on your second, you're giving a revenue to royalty now of $1,000 a month. Okay, And because you're giving a, ro a revenue to royalty for $1,000 a month, royalty are going to pay you $365 for doing it. Thank you very much. And it comes in month after month. Okay, Not a huge amount, but it's a car payment. And right now, this could make all the difference. Now, remember, you had your three. You would get two more just to get some insurance. Let's say you got five. And now those five wanted to get their platform free as well and get the insurance. Let's say your five got five, right? Again, just two levels. And these are business owners who are referring business owners, okay? Now you've got enough revenue in there of $2,500 and now Royalty are gonna pay you $1,000 a month. Every month, every month they're gonna be paying you. For $1,000 a month to come to you in interest, you'd have to have $600,000 in the bank tax paid. And I know only Felice on this call has got that amount of money in the bank, right? And we wish, right Felice? How lovely would that be? Okay, so it's really simple to do. It's really simple to bring some revenue. There's opportunities to make more. I've been doing this for 13 months now with this technology. Um, uh, two months ago, 11 months ago, I, I, I started to now make over five figures a month in residual income. Residual. Even though I haven't been out that front door in over a month now, that money comes in whether I'm working or not. I have fears for my family's safety, for their health and this type of thing, but I have zero financial fears because I have a residual income attached to a product that has a massive need right now. And there's a lot of money to be made if you want to continue doing it. That's why the 10% of us um, are, um, are attracted to this. And again, remember, it's not an upsell. If you're a 90%, you just want to be a customer, you want to refer it to five people, and that's all you want to do, that's fine. This is not an upsell. This is a plan B opportunity for those who want it. So for those who want to refer more than five, this is how it works. So Lisa here got her five to get it for free. And her five on the second level got it for free as well. So on her first level, she's got five. On a second level, she's got 25. Now she didn't, refer the, she didn't refer the 25, her five did, right? But because of the revenue on level one of 348 going to royalty, on level two of 2,171 going to royalty, royalty, you're now a gold, what's called a gold, and you're getting $1,000 a month, every month, month after month, coming in every month. Let's say she wants to now do a little bit more. No one else is building, 
just Lisa, uh, just uh, what do I call it? Lynn, right? Lynn. No, Lisa, Lisa, it was Liz, Lisa. Um, she now, she had five, she gets five more. Let's say it took her three months, right? But those 10 people she's now got, they just want to get it for free with their five folks. No one else is building, just Lisa. She's got her 10, but because of the revenue on levels one and two, she's now a platinum. She now gets $2,000 a month. $2,000 a month. That down here in Dallas is a nice apartment. It's a mortgage uh, up there in the Northeast. Uh, I know it's probably half a mortgage or a, you know, a shoebox you're going to live in, but that's $2,000 a month that's coming in residually on top of what you're already earning. Let's say she keeps going. She's been in it a year now. She's added a few more. She's got 20 people on her first level. All they want to do is get it for free. So they're just getting five people each. The revenue on levels one and two, 1,740 plus 8,700 is now going to royalty. They pay you $4,000 a month. Now we're starting to get really interesting. $4,000 a month is the average salary of people in America that people are working 40 hours a week for, for 40 years. And they've got that... Uh, that drive to and from. Things are changing now. Plan Bs are really big, and this is an awesome Plan B. $4,000 a month as a residual income. That means that even if you go on vacation for six months, that revenue is still going to come into you, and you're not working. Compare that to a job. <laughs> okay, let's say she's now been doing it for two years. She's got 50 people on her front line. All those fees, 50 people, they're not building. They're just customers, realtors, personal, develop, uh, personal trainers, uh, restaurants, jewelry makers, whatever they are, they just want to get it for free. So they refer it to five of their other business associates based on the revenue on levels one and two. Now you have a residual income coming in of $9,000 a month. I don't care who you are. That is a lot of money, whether it's a salary or a residual income, that money comes in month after month after month. Okay. Now there are some people who are actually wanting to build. So when I brought Felice on, all right, she wanted to build as well. She didn't want to just get it for free. She wanted to build. She saw the opportunity of having a product that is the only solution for 99% of small businesses who want to get online and said, huh, I want to attach my carriage to that, that train as well. This is how this works. So if I find, um, when I find someone like Felice, Felice wants to do more than get it for free. She goes out and refers 30 people, right? If I can find 30 people like Felice who want to refer 30 rather than five, because of the revenues on levels one and two, look at that revenue on the bottom right-hand corner, 26,273 people. And right now, there's a lot of people who are looking for a plan B who want to build, who could build a team of 30 people. There's a lot right now. There's a lot of people who are the casualties of this current situation out there, or they're now realizing I need a plan B because a situation out there can change my life tragically. I need to have a plan B. There's a lot of people looking right now. So to find 30 people like Felice, even though they break them, broke the mold when they made her, to find 30 other people like Felice uh, is not that hard to do. All right. Now I, I want to finish up because we've got a little bit over time here. But I've talked about two things here. You can just become a customer. You know, you're, you're a, a business. You need to be able to communicate with everybody out there to say, I'm still here. I'm still in business. The platform is perfect for you. You can do all of your attracting. You can do all of your communicating and all of your measuring all in the one platform. It's simple to use. The AI is going to do a bunch of it for you. And as you get better and better and better and better at it, you can even become a better marketer and even do better than the, the, the AI. That being said, go out and get your five to get it for free. It makes sense to me, no matter what business you're in. If you can get anything for free right now, that's good. Um, but for those of you who are 10%, for those of you who are uh, interested in the, in the plan B, like myself, like Felice, um, both of whom are doing well from this, um, from this uh, uh, affiliate opportunity, then become an affiliate. There's lots and lots of help. There's lots of training. Um, um, and there's lots of uh, ways for you to be able to learn to become a better a royalty marketer. And part of that is um, by, I'll help you. I do these calls all the time. Remember, if you want to refer this just to get it for free, or you want to refer it to build a plan B business, I'll do the hard work for you. I'm here all the time. I'm doing this live. It's live right now. Um, uh, and I do them on uh, this, these times of the week, uh, Monday night, seven, Wednesday night at six 30. And then today, Friday at 1 PM, I'm probably going to have to add more bearing in mind the number the amount of interest we have here. And then on Saturday, we have a training. Um, this is done sometimes by Felice who's on the call right now. And other times by Gina, this Saturday is going to be done by Gina. She's going to be doing the training at, uh, 10.30 on Saturday. Now, remember, most of the work is done for you. The AI is doing a lot for you, but there's still a little bit about, well, how do I get started? Where do I find this? Where do I find that, right? 
that's a lot of what this is all about. It's about getting started, getting onboarded. Um, and, but, but between this cycle that we're doing and this training that we're doing every week, you can get your three, so you can get it for free and five, so it's insured, or you can build a plan B business. Everything's there for you. All you have to do is invite people. And if you've invited someone to this call, uh, or you've been invited by someone, get back to that person. They'll be able to help you, get you any questions answered. Guys, thank you very much for staying with me all this time. I appreciate it. There's a lot of information to cover. Um, I do hope that you see um, the benefits of this royalty platform, either as a customer or as a plan B like I do. I am a customer and, a re and a, an affiliate. This has been a wonderful blessing to my business. Um, this company is growing like crazy during a time when some companies are really struggling. This is a great opportunity. Guys, thank you very, very much um, for joining me on this call. I'm going to stop sharing so I can just uh, check with Felice um, that everything's okay and then Felice can take us out. Thanks very much. Everything is okay. Um, and thank you, Susan, for your kind words. Um, thank you, everyone, for your time today. We appreciate it. And again, if um, you have some other um, prospects, bring them back next week. We will do this again on Monday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, same back time. Well, no, channel, not back time channel. <laughs> so thanks again. I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye now.